We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barbershop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. After watching this, y'all think this is wrong, man? What's y'all initial thoughts on this, man? Nah. Oh, yeah. So, you ready? Yeah. Why would you do that? What you mean, why would I do that? It is definitely it, it, loaded. Did, did, yeah, it's did okay. Pass away? Get it together. Because this is content. What you mean, why would I do that? All right. Why would you do that? What you mean, why would I do that? Okay. Yeah, still, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. We, so we, uh... That wasn't... That wasn't that... Okay, this is a oh, little choppy. What you mean, why would I do that? Did, it, did, did your daddy pass away? Did but that wasn't, that wasn't, that was not, I don't did even he, have my birth certificate. So you, so that, so you took my birth certificate. Did you, did he ever pay child support? And what you mean birth certificate? Didn't I have What does that got to do with me? He left me money, not you. Okay, but he, not you. Took, he never took care of you. So that was his payback for me. That was my payback that he's never gave me child support to take care of you or that your That has brother. nothing to do with me. What you mean it doesn't? Like, I don't know why you think you can just work. take my money. It's not your money. It's not yours at all. It is my money. I had you. It's, it's in my name. Okay, That's stealing. I gave you your name. That's stealing. You took my birth certificate and claim insurance money. My inheritance. That's stealing. I had you. With your father that passed away, that didn't give me a single dime, not one dime to help take care of you guys. So you're admitting to stealing, so you think that's okay I to steal? I'm not stealing. I All right, so what's your thoughts on this, man? You know what I mean? She going to jail a day. The mother or the daughter, man, you know what I mean? Where, where was the, uh, who who you feel was right, who you feel was wrong? Dead wrong. There's no if ands, or buts about it. Okay. The mother was wrong. So, what? What shit? She stole. There's nothing. There's no way around it. Whether she she needed the money, whether the daughter should have gave her some money, she literally stole. She took her daughter's birth certificate in order to get some money that wasn't hers. Now, if it was another person, she could still go to jail the same way she can go to jail for her daughter. So she literally stole. So it's wrong all the way around. Okay. Um, now her trying to justify it is even worse. Whatever drama the father had, his way, I, it get crazy. Kenny whatever Black, drama, what's up, baby? Okay. Yeah, whatever drama the father had with her is they, uh -huh. drama, right? Yeah. You don't know that relationship with the daughter. There's a reason he left his daughter money and not you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he didn't pay child support to you? Okay, I'm pretty sure he got in trouble. He probably got locked up. Probably was forced to do, couldn't get a job. He probably had hell for not paying child support, right? That has nothing to do with your daughter. You did what you were supposed to do as a mother to raise your daughter. That's just right. that's, when you bring a child into the, that's what you're supposed to do. The father failed on his part, but now your child is benefiting from the father dying because they probably had a relationship, and you felt like it's nah. That's wrong. She dead wrong for that. She dead okay. Wrong for that. All right. Uh, what's y'all thoughts on this, man? Won't go off or you You're wrong for that. Okay. Okay. Um she ain't asked. It wasn't hers. <laughs> the father passed away and left the money for his daughter. That's that's plain as day. That's it. It ends there. If my father would have the father would have left the money for the mother to take care of the daughter, that's one thing. But he left it for his daughter. Okay. Because you couldn't even have that dialogue with your daughter to say how you were spending it or what, whatever the case may be, you knew you was wrong from the start, all the way. Okay. Now all that, he didn't help me, he didn't do that, and all that shit. All that shit is bullshit because at the end of the day, whether he was there or not, you still had an obligation to take care of your child. So, I think, I think it was bullshit. And okay. 
that money I hope was used to this girl's like college is expensive, shit like that. Like, what if no, the, the mom took it? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if the father wanted to make sure his daughter, daughter had a college? You know, she could go to the college that she want with the funds and shit like that. Now that money's not even there for him to do what he want to do for his own daughter. So it's just it's just whack all the way around. Like that that's that's and I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it what it is, man. Cause this is cut the cat. That's bum bitch status. I hate bum bitches. Okay. Ain't she a bum bitch for that? Yo, listen, do y'all remember back in the day though, like with, with, with our parents? Using our socials? Uh, yeah, for like phone bills and things of that nature. And then fucking up people's credit, fucking up kids' credit when they yeah. get older. Matter of fact, didn't we play the video on here where homie couldn't take out the house because yeah. his mother put so much shit in his name as a as a kid when he tried to go get a house, the lady, the realtor was pulling the shit up like, yo, you got this. He was like, yo, ma, what the fuck? Like, I didn't, you ain't talk to me about this. So is that just like, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, well, I didn't even ask. I can't say that's what I'm saying. But so is that kind of like a more of a like a... Stolen identity? Nah, I wouldn't even say. It. It's just like a, a, a lot of parents from the old generation and just period. Even, you know what I mean? Feel like, hey, I had you, you mind, I control you kind of thing. You know what I mean? I this is, you know, is that, that cause that's the, that's the bigger problem here. It seems like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I, she's saying some key things like, yo, I had you, I gave you your name. You came out of that. Is that a lot of parents feel like that? You know what I mean? They pick for the kids with schools. They go to with this and that, where, Which who they can, fine. you know what I mean? That, that's, that's part of the life. You can say you chose to have a kid, then you have to take care of your kid, regardless of who the father is. The, the father could have been fully in his life. No, regardless. no, I think you're missing the point. Not that, not saying no. that. What I'm saying is the parents, it could be the father or the mother. I know, and what I'm, what I'm saying is you chose to have a kid, so your actions don't dictate that it's okay to do certain things, right? Whether it's still in the social, whether it's still in your kid's money, inheritance, whatever. That's like it doesn't it, because I had you I don't know I'm not entitled to anything like you know a lot of superstars go through that like basketball players and shit like that you know what I'm saying like where they got all these millions now and then the parent feel entitled to it not necessarily you did your job raising them. now if you raise you you rose uh, Ray, if you raised your kid correctly she will give back to you as the mother if you raise your kid correctly but you giving up this energy and this is probably over maybe 10 grand what if she come across to risk some real money, like like a couple million? You think she ain't gonna forget this? You know what I'm saying? Look, but it's just it's a mentality of, and I, I try not to have like, what's yours? Because you're my child, what you have is I I have uh, I'm get, like I don't even know what to say. I have ownership of like yeah yeah. Necessary. What's yours is mine. It was my bringing you in this world. I take you out. That's the old standards That's of. Awesome. That's the old school standards. Like, yeah, you know. like, yeah, as far as I, that, that line, yes. But an inheritance or something that you earn, I'm not. But that's the same thing. Like, I bring you in this world. I take you out. I own, like, I'm your parent. Like, I, I make the last decision. No, and, that, I, and, that, and, that, and that's true. You own what you give. Yeah. That wasn't yours to give. The father yeah, gave yeah. that. So the father owned that, actually. Right. That was his call. That was his you money. Had to literally that was steal his, it to get it. Yeah, that was his safety net for his daughter. And only thing you want to sit there and say, he ain't give me no child support. You. He ain't. But it's bitch, about him. He now. gave the inheritance money for his daughter. He 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 gave a safety net. When he is gone, she got something. Now she ain't got nothing. And then so, we not even asking what you did with the money. Yeah. I don't want to know what she did with the money. So right. Like, this is my last thing I'm gonna say about it. So she did what she did to raise the daughter, right? Yeah. What if that was his way of saying I wasn't in my daughter? This is what I'm giving for my daughter because I wasn't in her life. This is my my providing to her because she's still gonna have expense. She's still gonna have something she needs to take up. Yeah. Like she didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like the mother paid for the house, food, whatever, whatever. Get. She did all that things for the daughter, right? She's not entitled to nothing. She because she did whatever for the daughter. The father probably wasn't in the in the kid's life. And was like, all right, I need to do something for my daughter. Yeah. But the mother's taking whatever he did away from the daughter. That's the problem I really, really have. Where yeah. it's like, because they, they didn't get along, the daughter pretty much gets the butt of it. And that's not right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's not right. Yeah. So, look, one more thing. Just playing devil's advocate. 
you know, uh, you know, a lot of I would say this type of household parenting, it doesn't just start here. It's like with other things too, like male. Do you feel like, you know, your mother, your father shouldn't open your mail neither? You know, because that's a federal offense too. You know what I mean? If you no, 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 that's different. That's different. I, it is a federal offense though. If it's not your not mother, you shouldn't. Not open if it's it. my house. If I if it's if you get mail at my house, I can literally open it. If you're my if I if you're a minor of mine, no. I can open your mail legally. No, I'm saying obviously she's an adult now. That's how she got the money. Not necessarily. 18. She could be 18, but you still you still under my care. You could be until 21. You you understand that with the college thing too. Until yeah. 21, you technically still under me, so I can still open up everything that comes to my house in your name until you're 21, a legal legally adult. Unless you I, get what's this what's the thing called where you get you so get you're, and be on your own. I go so, I go on my full house. Nah, I, I, I was I was my whole so you seem very strong about opening people mail. That's a, no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you said to that kind of like, yo, I'm opening your mail to your 21. That's nah, not I mean, fair. If I'm paying your bills and stuff, definitely. But oh, like, okay, okay, <laughs> whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, like, so if you're paying for the bills, then you open the mail. That's what you're saying. If you're my kid, yeah. Uh, so the kid can't I have go, his own mail if he's. I go against. 15. I go against all that, man. Nah, not in my household. No. Okay. It's all about oh. privacy with me, so I definitely against that. But if I know you're out there doing something that I need to be looking at what you're doing, your everyday activity, because you're living wrong, then I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to protect you. But I'm not gonna invade your privacy. Like it's mail. What more can be getting sent through the mail? That I did this fucking anthrax or something, like what's in the mail that I need I to know? This. We still here? Oh, I don't know. It looked bad. Okay, we still here. We still here. We still here. What's going on? I just it's, had... yeah. Nah, my it's bad. A, it's a, it's a, it's a. Uh, he was saying that uh, you so be a about sergeant. Privacy, man. Yeah, he's saying you nah, be nah, a sergeant it's... five and you open the people's mails, and he's saying that. That ain't right. That's what that's what no, killer no, said. There's a level of privacy, right? But if you're getting a phone bill or whatever that's that has your name on it, and I pay the bill, I'm definitely opening that. Whatever. That's it's crazy. Shit. Yeah, because I pay the bill. So like, why am I giving it to you for to give me back the bill? But I mean, <laughs> no, that's no. different. That's different. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm not listen, opening up your bank when you open it, when you open somebody' phone mail, it has their messages, what they were reading. Sometimes nah, that's, that's back a little in the privacy. You know what I mean? You can request that, but. But I'm I'm talking about from the standpoint if you if you at an age where you're getting your personal stuff then that's different. Okay. You know what I'm <coughs> but under my like until you know 16, 17, you what do you first of all what are you getting mail of? That I you know what I'm saying like that's that's the thing like I'm not talking about packages or whatever like what are you getting the actual mail of? So for me I feel like as a protection. I'm gonna be invested on what what is what's going on with you, unless you okay. let me know. Listen, I got privacy, I got this. I don't want you to be X Y. Then that's different. We had a conversation about it. But as a guardian, yes, I'm gonna be in it because my my job is to oh, you get that credit card. No, I'm not letting you use this twenty thousand dollar credit card willy nilly. That's okay. tied to my name just because. No, I'm, I'm gonna check that. <laughs> you know, look, there's always something of there's a reason behind it. I'm I'm not saying I'm just checking. I your thought mail you just, just open checking. the mail. No, he, no. Listen, it sounded that even, way too. Now he doubling back. So, no, so no, I don't even hold, let open, me clean this up. I don't even just open my. <laughs> I thought the nigga was opening got, Amazon boxes. And right, shit. for me now he nah, came back. Like, hold on, let me just say. Uh, I don't even just mean? randomly open my mail. I see a certain name on it. I throw that. Shit. I would even open my own mail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But there's a protection clause on them when as a minor, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I mean. Like there is no. But that's different than me actually. Taking your birth certificate, going to the bank, portraying to be you to steal money from you, like that's completely right. different. I just don't see you know how she did all that. Like you it's look older it's than what the kid. Yeah, it ain't hard. It ain't hard. That's crazy. Know. It's not she even really, really like some. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not even like she like it is a bad thing. But people do that all the time to their kids. Like they get money yeah, and then good. they just you know what I mean. They like yo, nah, this is my money. You under my roof. 